This is a good TV and uh, today we have, we have two guests. Uh, we have uh, Morris and uh, Marcela. Today we are talking about uh, the, the big issue about uh, uh, Guru's speech and of course Ruto's speech and uh, also Raida's speech about uh, the big issue of the big eye. And uh, we heard that uh, Uhuru Kenyatta talked about the BBI and said that maybe if, it, if the people will reject the BBI report, they will be uh, they will be great afterwards due to the decisions. Uh, we can also uh, uh, Ruto William Ruto distance himself from the issues of BBI. He didn't talk about the BBI. He said that uh, the, uh, anything that is uh, that is discussed from the three arms of the government must be respected. Uh, we also heard Laiga talking about uh, the BBI and saying that uh, everyone should support the BBI fully. So, Marcela, uh, I think we'll start with you. And um, uh, I'm hoping you're good. Uh, you're suffering from Mel. I think uh, the people of Mel are all right. Okay, people from Mel are good. And I'm sorry that they were. You're sorry they were. Okay. Uh, now, what, what would you say about the uh, Uhuru's comment about uh, the issue of BBI? Okay, first, let me thank you, James, for inviting <coughs> me to this talk. According to me, the president's speech, that is Mr. Uhuru's speech yesterday, to some extent, he is pushing the normal monarchy to support the bill which he has not made it same through to all the people to read it. You see, James, for you to resign on something, you must you must check on it. That is the advantages and the disadvantages. There there should be the good part of it and then the bad part of it. But for our president, he is pushing it on the right side in a way that he is not giving room for a common minority to read it and understand the consequences or the disadvantages of this bill. They are just advertising the better part of it. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Morris. Uh, Morris is from Kiribati and he uh, has also joined us today in the afternoon discussion about the issues of, uh, of the government and the uh, uh, politics. So, um, Morris. Uh, I was uh, was rejected by the five judges behind the previous day. And uh, actually, uh, some people made uh, different reactions uh, concerning the, the ruling of the, the five judges. And uh, we, are, we, we know that uh, the common monarchy, uh, maybe uh, most people will say that there is nothing, there are others who support them, and they are saying that it is good. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that the high court will be? Has the BBI been after it has rejected it? And remember that today, uh, the, the discussion about the, the, the appeal, because Mr. President has uh, taken his appeal, Raila uh, Odinga and other leaders who supported the BBI. What do you think will be the, the way for the uh, Thank you very much, uh, James, for inviting me to your students. I'm very happy to be here. Now, concerning the matters of the rejection of the BPI bill by the by the judiciary part of the government, I think the judiciary has played its own part, and the public also have to be given a chance to to make their own obligations. And uh, the fact that. The bill now has been uh, forwarded to the most powerful uh, court of appeal and to, it is my opinion that uh, the judiciary shall see into it that uh, whatever decision was made by the High Court, they have to revise it in terms of the, 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 the several aspects that were, were considered there. So when the Court of Appeal will see that uh, 
the High Court did the decision in a more political manner, then obviously I think the Court of Appeal will have to open the, the bill and it will sell to So, uh, uh, more or less, uh, thank you for, for your response. Uh, that goes to uh, uh, okay, Masala. I, it's like your contrary to uh, maybe the, the, the BPI. I uh, uh, you say that, uh, the, that uh, the who is pushing people to support the BPI report. What, what do you think that people would think about the, if the BPI is supposedly passed by the court? What do you think people will say if they will say that maybe uh, making a constitutional change by uh, a president is unconstitutional? What do you think the people will react after that? Okay, Mr. James, let me say this. First, the, the people are allowed to exercise their rights. You see, they can do it through referendum, you see, through voting. But to this instance, my, my take is, my take is, how can you tell me James support this or deny this? Whereas I don't know what I'm supporting or what I'm denying. You see? So I think the BBI, the, the materials or those documents should be availed to the non so that they can read it, understand it, and do their decision according to their knowledge. And if not possible, I saw in 2010 the amendment of the constitution, the, the papers of the materials, the constitutional materials were made available to the people in Mashinani. They also used the baraza, the, the chief meetings to, to explain to the common Mwanaishi what the, the new constitution entails, you see. So the document should be made available to the common Mwanaishi in a way that the, the, the details in the BBI are explained to the person, to the common Mwanaishi, so that they can make the right decision. Yeah, that's my thing. Okay, so the thing should be taken to the people so that they can make it. Yeah, 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 not just conducting barazas and tempting people with the positive side of it. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your, for your, for your side of the field. Uh, okay, Morenka, finally, um, before we divide, uh, I would like to take us uh, to take a look at what you think about uh, the coronation of uh, Justin Mutifero, uh, Justin Mutifero, the Speaker of the National Assembly, who was called uh, the Native by the Kema community there, that continues and that is built uh, 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 to uh, the Nikolo Embu and Men, and uh, he was part of the coronation uh, as a spokesperson of the community. Uh, do you think uh, this coalition will bring, um, uh, will bring more attention uh, as, as much as it, uh, the, the, the issues of BPI are uh, concerned? Because uh, William Bittor was on the other side of BPI, he did not support the BPI at the first time. Who can other is the, 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 the spokesman? Right now, he was the spokesman of the group and the member of the camp, and he is supporting the BPI. Do you, what do you think will be the Okay, thank you. I think the coronation of uh, of Muture is just a uh, it is a political machine that is being used by uh, rather the ruling party jubilee to to try and get the or to bring together the vote rich Mount Kenya movement so that during vote, uh, voting you know, during elections. They, they can vote as, as a block, but it has nothing to do with uh, dividing the Mount Kenya region. It has, it, 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 it is supposed to be, it is supposed to be bringing it together, or creating much, uh, it is, I think it was it, it meant to, to bring all the, the region together and, uh, so that during elections it can vote as a block. Okay, uh, it was supposed to bring the people together. Okay, now uh, our, our viewers, we have come to the end of the show, and uh, we had uh, Maurice and Marcella.
And uh, we have uh, really enjoyed that. I hope you are going to do this show. I hope you are also going to, to make your comments and also uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then share your comments on our social media handles. Thank you.